Hello guys, this video covers the results of quick magic testing in various scenarios. I'll show you when quick magic truly amazing, when it's just okay and where it completely fails. I'll also give you 5 tips on how to prepare videos for the best results and what to pay attention to when preparing and selecting videos for quick magic. And believe me, some of them are not obvious at all. I won't explain what mentioned in the official documentation. That information is available on the Quick Magic website. Yes, and all of this is relevant for Quick Magic version 1.3.3.0. Let's get started. So let's start with the dance. And I have a couple of electro swing sample here. Lady first. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> See how it's looked. Yeah, that dance is very nice. So let's check in the cascader and what we see here. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty well done. Quick magic rule. Rules in, in the electro swing dance, absolutely. Next one. Yeah, the same, absolutely amazing. All the limbs movement, everything, it's nice. Minimum leg sliding. That's amazing. Again, check in Cascadeur. That's absolutely amazing, yeah. That's very nice. Well done, quick magic. Let's go further. Let's try another type of dancing. Uh, it's kind of classic ballet, dancing, whatever, something you will see. Uh, you see, uh, yeah, Quick Magic don't understand that how she broke her leg. <laughs> yeah, rotation, but it's still possible to work with this. Yeah, it's a lot of work here, but anyway, yeah, it's still okay, kind of. Another one example. Yeah, this one a bit better, but still a lot of work here. Yeah, this one is better. Again, you can use 2D refinement tool and fix this. Another one example. Yeah, but here a really crazy camera. Yeah, it's interesting that. Uh, quick magic try to do something yeah not bad not bad honestly but camera is moving too much yeah but anyway you can work with this still a lot of work but yeah not that bad uh, let's check breakdance oh oh what happened <laughs> and that, that's, that's the tips number one. Uh, <laughs> it's about, yeah. Uh, quick magic very badly in panoramic movement. Sometimes it don't understand at all panoramic movement. Be careful with this. Absolutely amazing with the perspective movement when character moves towards the camera. But uh, when it's moving from left to right, very often uh, quick magic fail. Let's go to sport, but before that, quick reminder on how to upload your video on quick magic. Just go to quick magic app, select your video, in my case it's sliding tackle, and yeah, here you are. After that, select your avatar, drag and drop it into your character and you are good to go. Generate your video and after a while you will get the video is in line. That means you need to wait a bit and after that you can press on the thumbnail of the video and you will get the 3D animation. Just wait a second and here we are. And you know, that is amazing. Really? Quick Magic did good job. Look how he extract all necessary details of the animation. That's really nice. And by the way, you can use 2D refinement tool here. And it's not subject of this video, I just show you that this tool exists. And you can adjust your bones and all the limbs of your character, whatever. So, after that you can download your file, just press the arrow and you are good to go. 
unzip your file, drag and drop it to the cascader and here we are. Our animation is inside the cascader, yeah, and we are ready to retargeting. But about retargeting, I will tell you later, guys. And look from the side view how Quick Magic correctly calculate the distance that around the characters with minimum sliding. That's cool. We already check sliding tackle and it's very good. Let's check ping. Nice. Yeah, all the movement again, perspective movement, very nice. Very good. Let's check cut wheel. Uh oh, not that good. But probably is because of the white background. As you see, there are white background here, and and in spite of I use the perspective movement. Anyway, it fails. Of, of, of course, it's also body rotation, but yeah. Uh, quick magic uh, warning you that it's better to not use the white background for your characters. Maybe it's, that's why. I don't know. Let's check backflip. And yeah, that's actually quite nice. Yeah, prob probably the previous problem was because of the white background. Yeah, this time it's worked perfectly. Very good. So, tips number two. You can avoid white background. Also, avoid the body rotation very often, if it's possible. If you have some body rotation, uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, vertical rotation or horizontal rotation, very often it's kind of weird. Again, you can use 2D refinement tool and, and fix it. Let's check other activities. Skate Oli. Yep. It's tutorial video and yeah, it's for animation in place, kind of. Very nice. A roller blade. Wow. That's cool. Look at this. You have in place animation of roller blade skating. Of course it's not animation, it's just a blocking. A very advanced blocking, but you know, it's kind of thing that you can work with. Amazing. And let's check something different. High kick. Uh, even it's... He doing it very slow, but anyway, you see, we have a problem with the hips. And I will show you another one thing. It's still... Uh, you can still fix it. It's possible to work with this. Tai Chi or Qigong, whatever you want to call it. And as you see, <laughs> go, what happened? Uh, yeah. And yes, as you see, uh, as you checked before, uh, the animation of um, the problem with, with high kick, it's all the time problem when uh, legs going a bit higher than uh, hips. In that moment, something weird happened with the quick magic and it's failed totally. In case of high kick it was still possible to work with, but here it's... <laughs> it's I, sorry, yeah, that's sick. So, tips number three, I guess. Uh, do not use the animation with the going higher. It, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. Okay, let's check parkour. Everybody loves parkour. And here we are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. As you see, uh, our uh, quick magic. <laughs> Our good friend Quick Magic don't understand obstacles. He thought 
he thought that the something happened with the camera, that camera movement, and yeah, <laughs> it's it's kind of you can work with it. And again, as you see, the movement, uh, panoramic movement, is very unprecise. Let's check another one. And you see again the same thing. So tips number four. Avoid obstacles uh, in your video and changing fulcrum point of your character because Quick Magic thought that something happened with camera movement. And before the tips number five, I will show you, as I promised, how to retarget your animation inside the cascader. So how to retarget our animation? Uh, quite easy. You need to select everything on the timeline. Uh, reveal the joints. Select all the joints. Oh, let's try this. Okay, again. Select all the joints. And select as many as you need on the timeline. You go to that. It doesn't matter that it's uh, more joints than in our case. It's it will work fine. So copy interval. Go to our menu, and edit past interval. That's it. You have your animation here. And the last tips that I want to show you. It's I have two similar. Vi it's the same video. But first one, you see what happened here. It's very bad lighting in the video, and uh, Quick Magic don't understand what's going on. He tried to, to to see what happened in the darkness, but yeah, he rotates very weirdly, buddy. But after I, it's the same video. After I just. Adjust the brightness and the contrast. You see, everything become much, much better, and and scale it. Yeah, scale it a bit this video. But you see, it's the same video. Yeah, and I just play with the curves and make it a bit brighter, and of course with the scale. So the tips number five. Adjust brightness and contrast in your video. Try to make it more visible, all the limbs. And maybe scale it a bit, if it's possible. Yep. So, I hope it was helpful, guys. And see you on the next video. Bye.